Uh, but I do want you all to know that the allegations made against me in November are completely false. How are you gonna get exposed for lying about SA with proof and still go ahead and accuse a TikToker of laying his hands on you? Have we not learned from the Jack and Sienna situation? Before we jump right in, make sure to buckle up because there's a lot to uncover in today's video because even Christian got exposed by the BFF podcast for using Mads Lewis for clout. Without further ado, let's get started with... If you guys remember a while ago, Sienna Gomez and Jack Wright got into a very messy situation on social media after Jack and his friends accused Sienna of essaying her boyfriend Jack. Despite that Jack refused to speak up on the situation between him and Sienna for months, she still went ahead and posted multiple videos clearing up her name and her image. This situation made people realize that Sienna was telling the truth all along and that Jack is terrified to speak up because he doesn't actually have any real evidence against her. But we spoke too soon because months after the allegations were made, a couple of videos of Sienna essaying Jack went viral on social media. And of course, fans immediately sided with Jack in the situation after they saw actual proof of the incident. And on top of this, Jack even made a YouTube video recently about the allegations against Sienna and it was enough proof for people to believe that Jack is the victim in the situation. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because another TikToker who is known as Noor Debosh made a very strong claim and accusation towards another TikToker, Nicholas Ray, a couple of months ago for SAing her. I know what you're thinking, you'd probably just go ahead and side with Noor for being the victim in this situation, but then you realize afterward that Noor never really showed any receipts or proof that she did get essayed by Nicholas. It all started in 2021 when Noor posted a long statement on Twitter, basically accusing Using Nicholas Ray of essaying her while she was intoxicated. Here's what she had to say in her statement. On July 5th, I believe. I say I believe because I was heavily intoxicated the whole week leading to that day. Not blackout, but enough for it to affect my decision making. Me and Nicholas had a complicated relationship because I had wanted attention from Nicholas, but at the time I was 17 years old and he was 21. He said he wanted to wait until I was 18 to even do anything, even though he kissed me the first day we met when he was driving his car sober and I was in the passenger seat drunk. I oftentimes have very bad anxiety slash panic attacks and the night of July 5th, 2021, I had a very bad one. I was curled up in Nicholas's bed crying, shaking, and unable to breathe properly for about 40 minutes. I just wanted someone to be around. Nicholas asked if we can talk and I said no. I was in a panicked state and couldn't form sentences in my own head. Once I caught my breath, Nicholas pinned me down and proceeded to me. I was confused. I had a very bad nosebleed afterwards. I got up, left, and went back to my apartment. On the night of July 5th, 2021, I did not consent to any type of sexual activities. There was no verbal, written, or previous consent. I tried to talk to him afterwards, but he claims that I lied and that I'm lying. I am not. Nicholas Ray does not deserve any platform he has. Not to mention all the messed up BS and manipulative things he has done to other girls in my social circle. Of course, when Nora made these claims against Nicholas, so many people believed her side of the situation and sided with her. And of of course, he received major backlash from millions of people after not only he got accused of SA, but also sleeping with a minor without consent. The weird part about this is that Nicholas never really took his time to address the situation, but instead he took a break for a couple of weeks and continued posting normally until he went on TikTok four months later and posted a three minute long video basically addressing what really went down between him and Nor. Uh, but I do want you all to know that the allegations made against me in November are completely false and my legal team and I have spent the past three months collecting evidence, receipts, and statements to prove that not only are these disgusting allegations false, but they were made strictly with the intent to gain attention online and to get back at me for not wanting to be with them. Nicholas continued talking about how Nora lied about him essaying her while being at her party when in fact, Nicholas was at the gym and he didn't really step a foot in her party at all on July 5th. All right, let's go ahead and start with Nora here. Nora's statement that she put out has so many holes and consistencies and just straight up lies throughout the entire thing. Plain and simple, I did not even see Nora on the night of July 5th, which is the night that she claimed happened. That night, she threw a party that I did not go to. I was actually at the gym at the time. Before that, she was at a shoot for a music video. And after this, Nicholas even opened up about how Noor accused him of SA just for kissing her when she was the one who asked Nicholas to kiss her. After her panic attack, I was comforting Noor. She tried to kiss me and I did not shut it down. However, her kissing me was the only thing that happened and allowing that was 100% a mistake on my part and I should have never let that happen. While Nicholas was clearing up his side of the situation, he then went ahead and exposed Noor for intentionally making 
making false claims against him after he broke up with her and how this situation was all a part of her plan. Nor was completely fine with me in the following weeks up until I told her that I just strictly wanted to be friends with her and then a couple of days later she started making accusations against me. And finally, in the end, Nicholas addressed how Nor took her videos down when she noticed the number of followings she was gaining from Nicholas and how she's nothing but a clout chaser. Nor even went as far as to brag about how many followers she was gaining from the situation on her private story and would post stuff like this when people would make videos about it and they would blow up and bring more attention to the situation. So after these videos were reposted all over social media, Nor Debosh immediately took to her Instagram to accuse Nicholas of gaslighting the situation and spreading nothing but lies against her in a series of stories. Here's what she had to say. I stand by what I said and for him to turn this into an accusation against me is extremely hurtful and disrespectful. I did not lie and would never lie about this subject matter. I had said in my original statement that I wasn't 100% sure which day this took place due to it being a traumatic experience. Yes, those videos are no longer online. Yes, the comments on my posts are limited. I deserve to move on from this in my life. There is no court case. We are not handling this offline. I have zero contact with him or his team. I will post a video if and when I feel comfortable doing so when I have a clear head, but this is something traumatic that I would like to move on from. I don't owe anyone receipts slash proof of ASA. If you choose not to believe me, that is your decision, but please stop harassing me. But let's go ahead and read people's opinions about it. I'm going to believe him until I see a video. I don't really think he would lie and his evidence was good. He literally came out with proof and we are just supposed to believe her words? Doesn't make sense. It's giving Sienna May. Anyways, let's move on now to Christian, aka Mads Lewis's ex-boyfriend who got exposed by Josh Richards for using Mads for clout. I mean, it was kind of obvious that Christian had been using Mads this entire time for clout, but we never really expected him to become friends with Jaden Hustler immediately after breaking up with his girlfriend. It's giving uh, hypocrisy, not gonna lie. As we know, Christian recently received major backlash all over the internet for not only becoming friends with Jaden Hustler, but for also shading Mads in a couple of tweets. And y'all, despite how Mads kept herself away from the drama, Christian himself decided to put himself in a really awkward and embarrassing position. Not only did he attend Jaden's birthday party, but he even showed his love and support towards Jaden after the paparazzi approached him. Who are you here to see, bro? Oh. Here to see the See the boy After thousands of fans started throwing hate at Christian for turning against Mads, he then went into the comment section and made a long statement basically saying how people should stop sharing their opinions when they know nothing about the entire story. And how he's currently healing and staying away from all the negativity and drama. But it doesn't end there. As soon as he made this statement, things went downhill for Christian. After Josh Richard, David Portnoy, and Brianna went on their BFF podcast to talk about Christian and Mads Lewis. And of course, they started making a bunch of claims against Christian, basically accusing him of using Mads for clout. Christian. Yeah. Pumping the tires. On Jaden. Who's? Her ex. The other ex. Her ex ex. So yes. that almost seems like, was he taking a shot at Mads there? Yeah, for sure. Maybe? I, okay. I, I think that also proves that he clearly was using Mads for clout. After the BFF podcast came after Christian for taking advantage of Mads, they went ahead and started addressing the reason why Mads refused to come to the BFF podcast to share her side of the story since apparently she was afraid that she would spill a lot of drama that would end up getting nasty in the TikTok community. So she or said, she no. said no. I asked her why. She said that like, she, she, she has a big mouth. So Mads like will like just say things like, which is great for the podcast. It's awesome. But I think that she knows that she said like she knows if she came on she'd get comfortable in talking with you and like all of us and then she would end up just saying sh and she would have a bunch of drama to deal with. Here's what some of the fans had to say about the situation. No one knew who he was before Mads. If you really loved someone, would you go and hang out with the person who hurt them the most the day after you break up? LOL. And you guys keep harassing Mads when she didn't even start talking and keeps quiet after being harassed so much. Anyways, loves, make sure to click on the tab above if you need more controversial videos on these TikTokers.